Hello there and welcome to James Hennon on YouTube. Today I've decided to make the video for the Knight of Cups, which continues our progress through the suit. And once again, I'm using the Rider Waite pack to help illustrate the general symbolism and meanings of the card. So first of all, just to recap what a knight stand for. Well, knights generally stand for movement, action um, within the suit that we're talking about. And what do cups stand for? Well, cups stand for emotions, love, relationships, friendships, spirituality, intuition, and creative and artistic pursuits. So getting into the symbolism of the card, what can we see first of all? Well, we can obviously see a, a knight sat upon a white horse holding aloft the golden cup. He has a helmet with wings on it and he's on a white horse, as I say, and he's about to cross a river. And he's heading, obviously, towards the right. So what would this card generally mean if we got it in a spread for ourselves, a friend or a client? Well, depending on the question, it would suggest that now is a good time for the seeker who's asking the question to start paying attention to their dreams and wishes and should be aiming their direction uh, sorry, aiming their action in the direction of their wishes and goals and should be following their heart with any important action that they take. It suggests that um, there will be the offers and opportunities to go in a direction that they really find the most emotionally fulfilling and suggests that um, if they follow their heart, they're likely to be quite successful. And as I said, there will be plenty of offers, opportunities and even invitations to go in that direction. Now, of course, it does depend on what the question is about. If it's talking about romance, then romantic partners or suitors are very much likely to appear on the on the scene. Um, and there may be a choice involved as to which offers you take. If it's to do with career and looking for looking for work or looking to change careers. And again, it says you should follow your heart in any decisions you make and any action that follows. You should be trusting your intuition and how you feel about the situation rather than using logic or think or saying to yourself, I should do that. Do what you feel that you want to do and go in the direction of your heart with any action that you take within that area of your life or in fact within any area of your life. It could be a lifestyle change, um, health changes. It doesn't necessarily have to be work or romance or property or anything like that. So the Knight of Cups is quite a nice card. As I said, all action is aimed towards matters of the heart and feelings, following your intuition, making sure that you make the decisions that you feel right about. But it does offer the prospect of good opportunities, um, good offers and good invitations. You might get an invitation to a wedding or an engagement party um in a very mundane way or you may get offers of romance or new friendship extended to you and it's a chance to follow your quest and go in the direction that you want to go in doing what you really want to do from a feeling sense it's quite a romantic card and it does offer romance to those who as i say are seeking it or perhaps if you're in a relationship that has been a come a bit stale perhaps the opportunity for the romance to come back into the relationship is also very likely so that's the Knight of Cups. I hope you've enjoyed the video. If you have, don't forget to give us a thumbs up and feel free to drop a comment in the comments section below. Tell us what you think about it. Thanks ever so much for watching. Until the next time, bye bye.